Hello friends and I'm here with another video on the trail press so basically it's just a short video on this trail I use I sometimes use this trail to basically drill some holes through the parts and uh, as you know uh, drill is a Chinese made I've done some modification basically I removed the shield I print a bracket for top of the chalk to hold my gauge and uh, what I've done again this gauge was so loose it was playing in its place so I made a bush out of a bolt a 12 millimeter bolt and I place it in and now it doesn't move a lot I also add a bearing you know this shaft was uh, plane in its place it was moving up and down it was a plastic bushing here on the nave and it was uh, smaller than a place so it has a sl uh, slightly space to basically uh, move around so I opened this one and I put a bearing into it also as you can see the motor a mountain place is like it was slightly smaller than motor holder I print two two millimeter washer to put it underneath used to make a slightly vibration so by adding those washer on now it is a lot better no no vibration and the main point that I was going to speak of is the stable so this most of this table um, got some angle indicator at the back or angle setting so and there is a line on the table so you can basically line up your angle at uh, some degree so you can drill your part with the angle and uh, what the main thing is uh, those numbers is at the this hobby hobby drill press is not uh, accurate and uh, and in most of the case we drill perpendicular to the part so and all I want to show you how to make sure this surface is flat it make sure your drill bit is perpendicular to the plane to the table and I barely use this uh, indicator at the back so what I've done I made this part and basically what I'm gonna do I place my dial into the chalk and turn my chalk around and see the difference and simply adjust the table but before doing that you need to basically lock the chalk lock the chalk in its place so we don't want to see any movement into the chalk so to make sure we have a right reading so what I'm gonna do I lose this uh, uh, nut here and uh, turn the screw inside so it locked the chalk most of these planes these ch cheap Chinese planes are ha have a rough surface so you the dial my jump around uh, within the 500 of a mil or 10 hundred of a mil about two millimeter this end is about two millimeter higher than this end so what I'm gonna do I'll make sure the both end the both side has a similar value so that indicate my 
uh, table is uh, flat. Okay, uh, now we notice we have um, nearly 65 at this end and if I twist it and similar goes at this point nearly 65 so is in, is in right high so we can adjust it usually clockwise or anti-clockwise but what if the front of the table was above or down the only way you can adjusting this by placing some sheen at the back either from the top of the boat or from underneath so basically if you place your shim at this between the plate at this point so it basically what it does the nose basically the face the front goes up and if if you put the your shim at the top the uh, face the front of the table comes down so that's a way you can basically uh, set your table easily and when you're done with your adjustment just take off your dial and loose up this uh, fasteners this uh, screw so you can basically move the chalk. I also made this part so it's uh, slightly bigger for for the bigger uh, surface. I can use this one, and I'm going to show you you can simply make this part out of a plastic or if you have a 3d printer you can use your 3d printer to print this or you can just simply make it out of a block of uh, aluminium or mild steel so what I did I just uh, used the CAD to design these parts and, uh, and then 